This tutorial will teach you how to make a beautiful photography website with WordPress in just a few minutes. There are hundreds of photography themes available for WordPress, but the one we're working on today is called Dorsey, and I chose it for three reasons. Firstly, it's responsive, which means it looks good on all types of devices. Secondly, it has a clean, minimal layout, because your website should be fast and you need to look professional. And finally, it comes with excellent documentation and support, in case you get stuck. Step 1. Download the team. WP Applied members get free access to this team for practice purposes. If you're not a member or wish to use this team on a live site, then you can purchase a copy at madebyminimal.com. Now, before we get started, I often find myself giving the following advice to photographers planning their new website. If your team has tons of features, then it's almost guaranteed to give you problems. A. It will be difficult to set up and B. Your website will load slower because of all that extra stuff. Also, selling prints online is great but my advice is to hold back and build a basic website first to see what works and what doesn't. In my experience, a simple contact form for sales inquiries is more than sufficient for many site owners. Finally, put the visitors first. Chances are they want to see your work, find out what services you offer and contact you. Focus on getting visitors and pleasing those visitors. You can add fancy features like e-commerce later. Step 2. Upload the theme files. From your WordPress dashboard, go to Appearance Themes. Select Add New, Upload, and choose the file that you downloaded in the previous step. Now install and activate. Now that the team is installed, it's just a matter of adding your own content. Step 3. Download the image files for this lesson from the notes. There's a link under this video if you're watching on YouTube. Once downloaded, unzip the files. There's also help with this in the notes if you get stuck. Step 4. The first thing you'll need to do is make your portfolio page. You can have as many as you like, but one will do us for now. Go to Pages, Add New. Give your new page the title Portfolio, and select the Portfolio template under Page Attributes. For Step 5, let's add an image gallery. WordPress has a built-in image gallery, and for some reason, you almost never see it being used properly on portfolio websites. Uploading images to a gallery is easy. Hit the Add Media button. Select the files you wish to include. You can upload them, or use files you've already uploaded. When you've uploaded all the files you want, then make sure they're selected and hit create a new gallery. Hit publish and that's it, you've just created your portfolio page. Step 6, the home page. As you can see in the demo, the home page acts like a portfolio page too. So creating your home page is exactly the same as before. Go to pages, add new. Give your new page the title Home. This time, you'll need to select the Home template under Page Attributes. Create a new gallery containing the images you want on your home page. I'm adding only one so the page will load faster. Hit Publish. For Step 7, let's quickly create the other pages. There are three other core pages that pretty much every professional photographer should have. Let's add a new page called About with the default page template and hit Publish. You can add your own content later. Let's do the same again with the contact page. Finally, we'll make a blog page. Add a new page, call it blog, and choose the blog page template, and hit publish. For step eight, you'll now need to create a new menu with all your new pages in it. From appearance, menu, hit create a new menu. Add your pages, rearrange them as so, attach it to the theme, and hit save. And that's it, you've now added all your content. There's just four more small things to do and your new website is ready. Step nine, the logo. Go to appearance, team options. Select upload to browse for your logo, which you downloaded back in step two. Scroll down, hit save, and that's it. You can check out the lesson notes for some useful tips on using your own logo. Step 10, social integration. Next, you can add links to your various social media profiles in the bottom right corner of your new site. To configure these links, go to Appearance, Team Options, Integration. Enter the web address of your profiles on any site you want included. Let's just add Twitter for now and save. Step 11. Now because we have created new blog and homepages, we need to tell WordPress which is which. So go to Settings, Reading. 
select the static page on the front page displays. To set the home page, select home from the front page drop down menu. And to set the blog, select blog from the post page menu. When you're done, hit save. Step 12. Finally, we better update our permalinks. This makes sure that WordPress is in sync with our new menu system and also has major implications for how search engines view our website. Select the following option and hit update. And that's it. You've just seen how easy it is to make a beautiful photography website with WordPress in under five minutes. Because it's WordPress, your website will be able to scale to fit your growing needs of your business. For example, you might wish to add e-commerce, email marketing, or features that support the community. It's all possible and there are no hidden costs for doing so. There are hundreds of photography teams available for WordPress. By choosing one that's simple and keeping features to a minimum, you'll give yourself the best possible chance of building a successful website. Why? Because you'll have a faster website and more time to focus on the basics, which is getting visitors and pleasing those visitors. I must say, I really like this Dorsey theme. Unlike lots of photography teams, there's no unnecessary features. It's designed to look great on all devices and it couldn't be easier to work with. If you like this video, then please share it and check out more just like it on wpapply.com. If you're just starting out with WordPress, then check out our free step-by-step -step beginner series, which teaches you how to build and manage your first website in under three hours. There's also lessons for more experienced website owners who want to get more visitors and grow sales online. See wpapply.com for details. Thanks for watching.